In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fish and everything that you need to know about fishing in Sea of Thieves. Now, there are three types of fishing baits in the game. The first one you can get by digging in any sand, and this one is called grubs. You just dig in sand, literally on the beach, and you will get grubs. These will be the white bait, the white-looking worms. The next bait is called leeches, and you can get this one by digging just as the water touches the ground here. So you can dig them up like this, and this will be the kind of blackish looking purple kind of uh, like worms. And the final one is called earthworms, and you can get this by digging in any grass area from an island. And this one will have the reddish pinkish color, as you can see over here. And now we're going to teach you how to fish quickly before we go into more detail. So if you go to your items menu and you go to more, you'll see your fishing rod is at the bottom of the item menu on the more section. And then you can just use left click to throw your line into any pool of water that you want to fish from. So with your line in the water, a fish will eventually spawn around your hook. You will see it will come out of thin air like it was magic, and it will swim to your hook eventually. And once it's there, it will pull the sinker down, and you have to left click to start reeling in, but immediately stop reeling in and face your rod the opposite direction that the fish is swimming. If it swims away from you, pull backwards. So press S on your keyboard or pull your mouse down or your joystick down. If the fish stops pulling, you can lower your rod with W and reel it in. But once it starts moving again, if it goes left, you pull the, the rod to the right and if it goes right you pull the rod to the left eventually it will stop moving and keep repeating this process over and over as long as you remember not to reel in while it's moving and counter its effects but when it's not moving anymore where the splashing effect disappears you can lower your rod by moving it forward with like w or your mouse up or your joystick up and by reeling in as fast as you can to get that fish out of the water now i'm going to quickly explain the types of fish that you can catch now there are 10 types of fish that you can catch in sea of thieves currently and each type of fish will come in a unique color, but not only a unique color, it can actually come in a trophy form as well. So you'll get a small version of the fish and you'll get like a big version of the fish, which is a trophy form and it will sell for a lot more when you sell it. Now I'm sure you'll agree there are four regions on the Sea of Thieves maps like the Shores of Plenty and to the right of that, the Wilds. And if we go further to the right, you will see there's the Devil's Roar. And between the wilds and the shores of plenty, you will see there is the ancient isles. Now, these are four regions that you can catch unique fish in. If you look at this fishing chart over here and you go to the right column, you will see that if we fish with no baits and we fish anywhere, we can get splash tails like what we caught today. But if we fish at a large island, we can get isle hoppers. If we fish at island ponds, we will get pondies. Now, to get the other types of fish, you need to use bait. So we'll start out with the earthworms. If we use earthworms and we fish in the shores of plenty, we'll get plenty fins type of fish. If we fish in the wilds with earthworms, we'll get wild splashes type of fish. If we fish by shipwreck, using earthworms as bait, we'll get wreckers. Now, if you use the leeches bait, if you fish during a heavy storm, during those crazy storms, you will get a storm fish. If you fish in the ancient isles using the leech bait, you will get the ancient scales type of fish. And for the lost region, the devil's roar, you need grubs as your bait because grubs with fishing will give you devil fish when you fish in the devil's roar. But also using grubs as your bait, you can go to a skeleton fort or near skeleton ships and you will get the battle gill type of fish. At this point, you might be asking, but how do you use bait? So have your fishing rod out, and if you use the option R, you will see you can access the bait options over here. Just remember the colors. So white, grubs, earthworms, red, and the purple one is leeches. Using bait will greatly increase your chances of getting trophy fish as well. Now, to sell fish at the highest possible value, you need to cook them. And cooking can be confusing if you don't know what you're doing. So when you put a fish on, it will change between four possible states. The first state that it's in right now is the colorful state where it's already its normal self. It looks like this. Eventually, it will turn into this color. And this will mean it's like semi-cooked. So this is not a perfect cooked one. If you do take it off at this point, you can actually still put it on and cook it further. So it's not a problem if you only cook it to this point over here. Now, what we're waiting for is from when it goes from this like whitish shade to a kind of like brownish orangey kind of cooked color which is this one over here as you can tell that slowly goes in now once it is fully at this color like this now you can take it off it is perfectly cooked however if you leave it on too long it will go black and if you forget about it entirely while it is cooked and burnt like this it will actually start fires in your ship so be careful with cooking guys now to sell the fish, you can go to any sea post where you will find an individual who will buy your cooked fish. They'll also buy raw fish, but they'll buy it for more money if you cook it first. 
So at the North Star Sea Post, here I am. You can see there is an option as I hold out my fish, which is obviously like a food option. You just swap to the fish that you want to sell and sell it to them, and you can make some gold. It's not a huge amount, but it, it's, it's something to make. And also the fish that I sold aren't the most expensive fish that you can get. And that is a basic guide to how to fish in Sea of Thieves, as well as some extra information about fishing in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.